Lola Falana was a dazzling talent and a sensation of the 20th century. Despite her rising fame, she faced unexpected setbacks in her career. Was it a scandal, a feud, or something else? Let's explore Lola Falana's journey to uncover the twists that shaped her remarkable legacy. Number 12. A Shining Star Falana, a remarkable talent, was born in Camden, New Jersey on September 11, 1942, into a middle-class family of six siblings. She was the third child of Bennett Falana, a skilled welder, and Cleo Falana, an adept seamstress. Bennett, Lola's Afro-Cuban father, transitioned from the U.S. Marine Corps to a welding career. Lola's journey as a dancer and singer began at a very young age. At three, she showcased her dancing skills, and by five, she was singing in the church choir. Cleo, Lola's mother, recognized her daughter's exceptional talent and took her to perform in nightclubs while still in junior high. With the addition of two younger siblings, the family moved to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Even in junior high, Lola continued to dance in nightclubs. Despite nearing her final exams, Lola chose a different path, leaving Germantown High School. Her destination? New York City, where she aimed to pursue her musical dreams. This decision caused concern within her family, especially her mother. But Lola remained determined to follow her musical destiny, and she made the right decision. Number 11. Rising Talent Falana's life changed significantly when Dinah Washington, recognizing her potential, gave her the opening act slot at a Philadelphia nightclub when she was just 16. Taking this opportunity, Lola caught the eye of Samuel George Davis Jr., who invited her to join the cast of his 1964 Broadway musical, Golden Boy. Under Davis's guidance, Lola began her professional music career, recording her debut single, My Baby, with Mercury Records in 1965. After her success with Mercury Records, Lola's musical journey expanded as she started recording for Frank Sinatra's record label. Samuel George Davis Jr., impressed with her talent, introduced her to the film scene with a role in A Man Called Adam in 1966, alongside Ossie Davis and Cicely Tyson. Lola continued to shine in the years that followed, touring with Davis, captivating Italian audiences with her singing and dancing, and making a lasting impact on the Italian film industry as the Black Venus. Following a successful partnership with Davis, Lola entered Hollywood, debuting in the film the Liberation of L.B. Jones. This performance earned her a Golden Globe Award nomination for New Star of the Year Actress. Lola's influence extended beyond the silver screen as she posed for Playboy and became the first black woman in Fabergé's Tigris perfume commercials. Television audiences embraced Lola as she showcased her talents on The Joey Bishop Show and The Hollywood Palace, demonstrating her skills in dancing, singing, and comedy. Her television success continued with appearances on The New Bill Cosby Show, where her connection with Bill Cosby from her college days added an interesting twist. Lola appeared on popular shows like The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson, Laugh-In, The Muppet Show, and The Flip Wilson Show. Lola's Broadway journey saw her shining in the musical Dr. Jazz, earning her a Tony Award nomination and securing the 1975 Theater World Award for her outstanding performance. But her popularity wasn't slowing down anytime soon. Number 10. Fame, Fortune, and Global Recognition In the vast realm of entertainment, Lola Falana was the equivalent of a golden ticket, a guarantee that high ratings and captivated audiences would follow wherever her journey led. Beyond the glittering lights of the stage, her venture into cinematic realms added a new dimension to her influential career, showcasing her versatility as a multi-talented artist. The transition into film wasn't a mere extension of Lola's career. It was a canvas where she could paint with the vibrant hues of her passion and commitment. Whether gracing the iconic Hollywood scene or making waves in the Italian film industry, Lola approached each role with unwavering dedication earning not just critical acclaim, but also a legion of devoted fans. Her allure wasn't confined to her undeniable talent alone. It was encapsulated in her unparalleled sense of style. As a true fashion icon and trendsetter, Lola's outfits and hairstyles weren't just garments, 
but integral components of her performances. Each appearance wasn't merely a spectacle, it became a powerful statement, a gallery of artistry reflecting the latest trends, her unique personality, unyielding confidence, and spirited essence. Beneath the glitz and glamour, Lola Falana emerged as a woman of profound substance. Her success wasn't handed to her on a silver platter. It was the hard-earned outcome of years of unwavering perseverance, resilience, and an unshakable belief in her own capabilities. In an industry rife with pressures and temptations, Lola stood resolute, guided by her faith and unwavering values. Her influence extended beyond the entertainment world, making her a true role model, especially for aspiring young black women who found in her a living embodiment of their aspirations. But that doesn't mean that she got by without her fair share of struggles. Number 9. Struggles of the Tigress Beyond the spotlight, Lola became a beacon of inspiration, navigating the complexities of the industry with grace, strength, and an enduring commitment to authenticity. In transcending her artistic prowess, Lola Falana became a trailblazer, shattering racial and gender barriers that long constrained performers of color. Her impact wasn't confined to the stage. It was a seismic shift, a declaration challenging established norms and reshaping the narrative of what it truly meant to be a black woman in show business. The dynamic 1970s witnessed Lola's foray into the realm of music, an artful addition to her multifaceted career. Her musical endeavors weren't just a fusion of melody and rhythm, they evolved into a compelling tapestry of storytelling. Lola became a virtuoso of emotions, weaving narratives that resonated deeply with her audiences, transcending the auditory experience. Whether lending her voice to a soul-stirring ballad or a high-octane disco track, Lola's vocal prowess possessed an enchanting power to move, inspire, and entertain. This era marked the zenith of her fame, where her omnipresence adorned billboards, magazine covers, television screens, and radio airwaves. Lola Falana became synonymous with entertainment, her image an enduring symbol of triumph and glamour. Witnessing her on stage was an encounter with a maestro, a performer capable of captivating audiences with a mere glance or the subtlest of gestures. However, as the tapestry of her fame unfolded, the unpredictable landscape of show business orchestrated a twist in Lola's narrative. At the pinnacle of her renown and success, a pivotal incident unfolded, an incident that not only sent shockwaves through her devoted fan base, but also left a huge mark on her remarkable journey. So what actually happened? Number 8. Mystery Behind the Tonight Show In the ever-changing world of showbiz, most stars shine briefly before fading away, and rumors and speculations can end up haunting you for decades. Lola Falana's sudden disappearance from The Tonight Show puzzled and fascinated the entertainment industry. The Tonight Show was more than just a TV program, was an institution guided by the legendary Johnny Carson. An invitation to this esteemed stage was an honor and an entry into the entertainment pantheon. So when news spread that Lola Falana, a luminary of her time, was barred from the show, shockwaves reverberated through the industry. The mystery persisted. What events could have led to such a seismic decision? One theory suggested a personal feud, not uncommon in the world of showbiz. The entertainment industry, like any other field, is prone to clashes of egos and discord. Could the rift have come from a disagreement with Johnny Carson himself, the maestro known for on-screen wit and behind-the-scenes maneuvers? Carson, charming on the surface, was fiercely protective of his territory, a fact not lost on those navigating the industry's maze. Further rumors hinted at political discord. The 1970s, marked by societal and political upheaval, saw celebrities expressing distinct views. Lola Falana, an influential figure, was no stranger to voicing her opinions. Another speculation focused on her connections with celebrities fallen out of favor with Johnny Carson, particularly her close association with Wayne Newton, entangled in a public feud with Carson. Could Lola have become collateral damage, caught in the crossfire of this high-profile skirmish due to her affiliations? In Hollywood's intricate dance, alliances often determined access to coveted opportunities on the grand stage of fame. Amidst swirling conjecture, another consideration was an off-screen incident, 
an underbelly of the late-night world unfolding behind the scenes. Could there have been a nuanced interplay of misunderstanding or discord with key personalities behind the scenes, shaping the narrative away from the public gaze? The elusive answer, like a well-kept secret, remained hidden behind the velvet curtains of celebrity and the intricate choreography of power play. In the labyrinth of speculation, a discerning viewpoint emerged, one suggesting that the prohibition stemmed from Lola Falana's rising eminence, a rising star whose radiance posed a threat to established norms. As a black woman asserting dominance in an arena historically dominated by a predominantly white and male contingent, did her exile reflect a subtle maneuver to maintain the existing status quo? Was it a potent reminder of the lingering shadows cast by barriers in the progressive realm of show business? But maybe there was another reason at play here. Number 7. Subscribers Pick And now, it's time for our Subscribers Pick. One of our followers sent us a snapshot from an interview between Lola and Carson on The Tonight Show, and it could be one possible explanation of why she was never allowed back on the show. Falana made a tasteless wardrobe decision that would end up impacting the rest of her career. She came on the show wearing a see-through top, which left Carson embarrassed and unable to continue with the interview properly. The entire segment was filled with awkward conversation, and although The Tonight Show never explicitly announced their disapproval over the incident, it was evident on Carson's face. So what do you think? Could this have been the real reason Lola Falana was never allowed back to The Tonight Show? It seems like a trivial matter, and other guests on the show have done a lot worse. But the damage seemed to be done, and Falana's career suffered greatly. Being banned from a major platform was more than a small obstacle for her. Its impact resonated through her otherwise successful career. Number 6. A Cultural Icon Shrouded her absence from The Tonight Show became a crucial moment, turning her from an unstoppable force into a star caught in a web of speculation and controversy. Despite widespread curiosity, the exact details remained mysterious. Lola Falana and The Tonight Show team kept quiet, making the situation even more intriguing. This lack of clarity fueled rumors, allowing speculation to run wild. The impact on Falana's career was complex, Beyond the decrease in visibility in mainstream media, The Tonight Show ban took away a vital platform for her to promote herself and reach a broader audience. This decline in visibility mirrored a drop in the momentum she had carefully built. The timing, coinciding with a transformative period in the entertainment landscape during the late 1970s and early 80s, worsened the impact. This era brought in new genres and stars, reshaping the industry fabric. For Falana, being absent from crucial platforms meant more than a step back. It was an unintentional surrender of an active role in shaping her narrative in an industry driven by the constant pursuit of what's next. The implications of the ban went beyond the individual, encompassing a broader conversation within the entertainment industry. It highlighted the intricate interplay between personal choices, institutional norms, and the unpredictable rhythm of societal shifts. Lola Falana found herself at the center of a seismic shift, not just in her career, but also in the broader show business landscape. As the saga unfolded, Lola faced a profound chapter of looking back, reinvention, and resilience. But keep watching to learn about how she never gave up. Number 5. The Beginning of the End The banishment from The Tonight Show, wrapped in silence, unwittingly became a catalyst for her enduring spirit to weather the storm of controversy and emerge as proof of resilience in the entertainment realm. The fading presence in the limelight marked not just a minor dip, but a noticeable decline in the energetic path Lola Falana had carefully crafted over the years. This decline in prominence was not a solitary event, but rather a complex dance with the evolving rhythms of entertainment trends during the late 1970s and the early 80s. A symphony of new genres and emerging stars reshaped the landscape, and Lola, absent from crucial platforms like The Tonight Show, found herself at the crossroads of adaptation and relevance. The industry, known for its relentless pursuit of the next big thing, evolved at an unyielding pace. Yet the void left by her absence on the critical stage of The Tonight Show wasn't just a missed beat. 
it was a noticeable weakening of her connection to the mainstream audience. The looming question, unanswered and wrapped in intrigue, revolved around the mysterious banishment from such a cultural institution. What happened behind closed doors, keeping the reasons for such a significant exclusion under wraps? Delving into the labyrinthine corridors of speculation, one can't help but consider the mysterious role of Johnny Carson in this unfolding drama. The charismatic master of late-night television, known for his witty banter on screen, wielded a behind-the-scenes influence that was as tangible as it was cryptic. Could Lola Falana's estrangement from The Tonight Show be an unwitting entanglement in the threads of Carson's influence? The stage was set, and the spotlight on Lola Falana dimmed, leaving her surrounded by questions. The saga of her exclusion, woven into the fabric of shifting trends and mysterious decisions, highlighted the unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry. Yet, as the story unfolded, it hinted at the broader narrative of power dynamics, celebrity alliances, and the delicate dance between personal choices and institutional norms. Number 4. Entertainment Industry Politics In the lively world of entertainment, famous people sometimes cross paths unexpectedly. Imagine the dazzling Las Vegas Strip in 1980 where Wayne Newton was the star, ruling stages at various hotels and making a fortune as bright as the city lights. His fame lit up the desert city, proving his success in entertainment. Meanwhile, on the broader Hollywood stage, Johnny Carson was a big deal as NBC's figurehead, leading late-night television from 1962 to 1992. The Tonight Show, hosted by Carson, not only dominated TV, but also boosted NBC's finances. Carson's influence reached Las Vegas, where he owned a local TV station and showcased his comedy on the iconic strip. Millions tuned in to The Tonight Show nightly, meeting the friendly host who avoided the snark common in today's late-night talk shows. Carson's humor, though occasionally sharp in monologues and banter, was mostly inoffensive, a break from today's TV tone. Behind the scenes, Carson, the late-night star, hit a complex persona. Described as a lonely, loveless alcoholic, his mood swings affected those around him. In social gatherings, he was quick to take offense, sulk, and fire colleagues for minor issues. The gap between Carson's public and private sides added mystery to his legacy. In this Hollywood tale, Wayne Newton, the Vegas showman, becomes an unexpected protagonist. Known for his kindness, Newton's six-decade career began in 1959 on Las Vegas stages. Despite accolades, Harmony met discord as he clashed with Johnny Carson. The potential fistfight between Newton and Carson added an unexpected twist. The difference between the charming strip headliner and the late-night star's complexities cast a fascinating shadow over this showbiz episode. As neon lights flickered in Vegas and The Tonight Show's legacy echoed in late-night TV corridors, Wayne Newton and Johnny Carson's clash remained a captivating subplot, an intersection of personalities exploring human dynamics in entertainment. But things weren't all that great between the pair. Number 3. Clash of the Titans In the colorful world of Vegas entertainers, Wayne Newton stood out. Unlike Sinatra or Martin, Newton's unique voice and shorter stature defied traditional standards. His attributes became a source of humor and speculation, especially regarding his sexuality. In entertainment's dynamic realm, where jokes and banter mix with performance, Newton faced Carson's comedic musings. Carson's usually friendly banter took a negative turn when he began questioning Newton's masculinity. This shift led Newton to confront Carson about the new direction of his comedy. In a revealing Larry King interview, Newton described the turning point, saying, I had done his show many times, considering him a friend. Suddenly, a new kind of humor questioning my masculinity started. That changed everything. As tensions rose, Newton, known for facing issues head-on, went to Carson's office in Burbank, California, for a candid talk. Carson's producer wisely retreated, leaving Newton to express his discontent directly. Stop these jokes about me or I'll kick your ass! Newton asserted, showing the matter's seriousness. The Newton-Carson rift continued, with Newton linking Carson's ongoing dislike to a libel suit a decade later. Newton initiated the suit over Carson's claim, implying his connection to organized crime. 
Newton won, but the judgment was overturned. Despite legal complexities, Newton blamed Carson, saying, all of that came from Johnny Carson's influence. In showbiz's grand theater, where personalities clashed and alliances shifted, the clash between Wayne Newton and Johnny Carson revealed a captivating chapter, a story of humor gone wrong, egos colliding, and intricate dynamics shaping entertainment relationships. Number two, caught in the crossfire. The aftermath of this whole situation had a big impact on Lola Falana's successful career. Tied up in high-profile conflicts, Lola faced an uncomfortable position because her connection with Wayne Newton indirectly led to the unfolding drama. In the competitive entertainment industry, where friendships can greatly influence one's professional journey, Lola's close relationship with Newton played a crucial role in her unexpected removal from The Tonight Show. The exact reasons for this punishment were unclear and surrounded by speculation. Lola Falana and Wayne Newton's friendship was well known in entertainment circles, a story of mutual admiration and shared artistic camaraderie. Their paths crossed in the mid-1960s, a crucial time when both artists were making their names in showbiz. Lola, with her captivating stage presence, and Newton, with his enchanting voice, shared a love for performing arts, building a lasting connection. Over the years, their bond grew, often resulting in joint performances on Las Vegas stages. However, their friendship faced a tough challenge due to Newton's tumultuous relationship with Johnny Carson. Lola Falana, unintentionally caught in the conflict, had to navigate a delicate and potentially harmful situation for her career. The details of her association with Newton and the fallout with Carson were widely speculated, with questions about guilt by association or if it was a precautionary measure by management. Falana's loyalty to Newton was based on her unwavering support, a rare commitment in an industry where loyalties can be short-lived and driven by self-interest. Her strong solidarity with Newton, who had faced public ridicule and personal attacks from Carson, set her apart in an industry where friendships can change quickly. However, this allegiance also brought its own set of challenges, as the interconnected world of show business often blurred the lines between friends and foes. In the complex dance of alliances and conflicts in the entertainment industry, Lola Falana found herself in a nuanced position, highlighting the complexities that define relationships in the glittering world of showbiz. Her ban from The Tonight Show became more than just a career setback. It became a chapter in the evolving narrative of connections that tie and sometimes unravel in the high-stakes world of entertainment. As rumors of her alleged ban from The Tonight Show circulated, whispers suggested a connection to her strong friendship with Wayne Newton. Though unconfirmed, these rumors added complexity to her already intricate career landscape, where the delicate balance of appearances and connections could shape destinies. Navigating the turbulent waters of an industry where alliances and affiliations carry significant weight, Lola found herself in a precarious situation. Her association with someone at odds with one of television's most influential figures posed a risk. Yet, Amid these challenges, her bond with Newton emerged as a resilient force. Their friendship went beyond professional admiration. It was rooted in shared experiences under the spotlight and a mutual understanding of the pressures and demands of fame. While this association potentially had costs for her relationship with The Tonight Show, it also served as a source of strength and support for both Lola Falana and Wayne Newton. Their friendship reflected the intricate relationships defining the entertainment industry, emphasizing the profound impact personal connections can have on public perception and professional opportunities. For Falana, her friendship with Newton was a double-edged sword, providing unwavering support, but perhaps imposing limitations in certain influential circles. The complexities of these relationships offer a glimpse into the intricate tapestry of the entertainment world, where the personal and the professional intersect, both uplifting and constraining. In the delicate dance of maintaining authenticity while navigating the expectations of a high-stakes industry, Lola Falana's story stands as a compelling narrative of resilience and negotiation within the corridors of fame. But Lola had one final battle to face just yet. Number 1 reconnection 
and faith. As Lola Falana's time in mainstream entertainment slowly came to an end, especially after the Tonight Show situation, she found herself at a crucial moment, starting a journey marked by self-reflection and spiritual discovery. This new chapter wasn't a step back from the public eye, but a purposeful shift of her energy towards things that promised a deeper sense of fulfillment. In 1987, Lola faced a major change in her life, a diagnosis of multiple sclerosis. This tough opponent not only brought physical challenges, but also made her see life differently. Imagine the queen of Las Vegas, once full of life, now dealing with a serious illness. The fight against multiple sclerosis began in 1987, affecting Lola Falana's life as the entire left side of her body became paralyzed. Speech, hearing, and vision also faced problems in this tough battle. Picture the lively queen now confronting a debilitating illness. Despite the tough times over 18 months, Lola's strong spirit persevered, and her illness eventually went into remission. Looking back at her activities before the diagnosis, Lola Falana, in October 1989, shared her dedication to staying active. A big part of her performances included energetic dancing, showing her commitment to excellence in entertainment. Her constant movement, singing, and lively expression defined her as a star who needed to shine brightly, sparkle with life, and radiate boundless energy. When recalling the first encounter with the diagnosis, she credited her recovery to a transformative force, the word God. Although not very religious before, Lola highlighted her reliance on her inner spirit for survival, a source of strength that helped her face and overcome the challenges brought by the sneaky disease. Unfazed by the daunting nature of multiple sclerosis, Lola Falana stood strong, rooted in her newfound faith and the internal strength that had become the driving force behind her successful battle against the tough opponent. In deep self-reflection, Lola Falana found comfort and strength by turning to her deep-rooted faith, a constant companion throughout her life's journey. This period of introspection became a crucial chapter where her spiritual beliefs, once quietly in the background, took center stage, guiding her through the countless challenges imposed by her relentless battle with illness. In a transformative move, Lola embraced Catholicism, a decision that not only comforted her deeply, but also sparked a renewed sense of purpose in her journey. Beyond just finding comfort, her faith became a powerful force, propelling her towards a purposeful life marked by dedication to charitable causes and religious advocacy. Using her celebrity status, Lola shifted her focus to philanthropy and advocacy, becoming a notable figure in raising awareness about multiple sclerosis. Despite the significant challenges posed by her health, her impact on the arts and her community remained substantial. Her journey became a testament to strength, serving as an inspiration for those facing similar challenges as she took on the role of a dedicated advocate for people navigating the complex landscape of multiple sclerosis. Refusing to be limited by her diagnosis, Lola reignited her passion for music. In a memorable performance in the spring of 1989, she shared the stage with Wayne Newton at the Las Vegas Hilton, delivering a heartfelt rendition of Proud Mary. July of the same year witnessed her triumphant return to the Las Vegas stage, where she defied the worries of club owners hesitant to book her, fearing a potential relapse. The August 1989 issue of Jet Magazine captured the essence of her comeback, detailing her first reservation at the Sands Hotel, where in a touching moment with her audience, she declared, I'm not cured, but I'm healed. This profound statement emphasized Lola's unwavering belief that while medicine may cure, true healing comes from a higher source. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.